A very good day to everyone. My name is Devdashni. So I will be presenting my individual project focusing on a cement problem. So moving to the next part, which is the objective. So there are four objectives. First one is to provide an overview of the production logic tool, which is cement problem, including its features, applications, and technological advancements. Second is to determine the importance of cement roundup in the oil and gas industry. Third is to describe the process of interpreting data collected by the cement roundup. Fourth is to analyze the benefits of using the cement roundup. So next is the outline of the presentation, uh, followed by the introduction part. The cement roundup uh, normally evaluates the quality and integrity of the cement bond between the casing and formation using the acoustic wave propagation principle. So let's see the basic science behind the CBL, conventional techniques, and advancements. So as for the basic science, it uses the acoustic wave propagation uh, principle which experiences the reflection, transmission, and attenuation as it travels through various materials. So this, this action helps the CBL to evaluate the cement's bonding quality. So as for conventional method, uh, there are two tools. So sonic is normally emits low frequency sound, whereas the ultrasonic emits the higher frequency sound waves. Lastly is the advancement part. So normally the CBL is integrated with variable density log to improve the evaluation of uh, cement bonding. So next uh, is the overview part. So first let me explain the problems that cement bond causes in the petroleum industry in terms of well concentration and integrity. So, loss of uh, zonal isolation, casing corrosion, and valuable instability are the example of problems. So, normally, in order to solve this kind of problems, we'll squeeze cementing or use other treatments to improve the bond quality. But first, like, we need to know the location of the weak bond. So, this is where the cement bond lock comes in handy as it assists the determining the which specific area is the weak cement bond. So, let's see, like, how the cement bond lock tool is working. So CBL is an acoustic device which will use the sonic logging tool to detect the presence or absence of the cement bond between the casing and formation. So it consists of a transmitter and receiver. The tool is normally lowered into the valve on a wire line and it emits sound waves that travel through the casing and the cement to the formation. So the receiver then receives and measures the amplitude and transit time of the returning signals. So based on the received signals, the CBL will provide information about the acoustic properties of the valve components. So cement contacting the casing tends to dissipate the signal energy as it travels through the pipe. Next is the CBL measurement principle. So normally the amplitude curve is displayed on the cement bond lock and it will generally show the amplitude of the first signal to arrive at the near receiver. So this amplitude represents the pipe portion of the signal. A low amplitude indicates good casing to cement bonding, whereas the high amplitude indicating poor bonding. So next is the current status and technological advancements of the tools. Currently, cement bond tools are still using for evaluating the bond between casing and cement. Normally for the measurement, uh, it is made by using acoustic sonic or ultrasonic tools. So lastly, as for the industry standard sonic tool measurements are typically displayed in uh, milliwatt. And as for the ultrasonic, normally it expressed in kilohertz. So next is the imaging technologies. So basically, cement bond log is integrated with variable density log. So it will normally provide the standard CBL amplitude, attenuation, and variable density log measurements for evaluating the cement bond quality of a cemented casing in high pressure and high temperature. So following that, receivers create a radial image of a cement bond variation. Other than that, it can be run with the other PS platform software. So it will have to uh, perform the on-site data processing and also prepare for the log presentation. Some of the cement bond logging tools that used by SimbaJ will be covered in the following slide. Moving to technological advancements that for the cement bond logging tools. So basically it's F2 categories. First we look at the acoustic sonic logging tool. The tools are listed here. So basically, these six tools are helped to evaluate the cement quality and determine zone isolation and also to determine the location of the cement top. So second category is the ultrasonic logging tool. So this tool is helps to evaluate the cement and inspect casing in terms of detecting corrosion, detect internal and external damage and helps to analyze the casing thickness. So next, we'll look at the field example of using CBL. 
So the field will be discussed here is the Rani Kanch Block Durgapur, where it's located at uh, West Bengal, India. So as for diagnosis part, they use the cement bond lock together with the variable density lock to determine the bonding between cement and casing and bond between the cement and formation. So the lock shows the microannulus present between the cement formation bonding and indicating it's uh, having a poor bond. So as for the remedial action, so they had to do the pressure pass, which is like overpressuring in order to overcome the cement casing and formation damage. And also it helps to treat the microannulus problem. So basically the diagram below shows the uh, uh, cement bond lock with the variable density lock uh, before and after pressure pass. Next, moving to the conclusion part. So in summary, it is important to have strong cement bond between the well casing and the formation because to support the casing by shear bonding. Second is in order to separate the producing zones from water bearing zones. Third is to avoid fleet leakage to the surface. Fourth is to maintain valuable stability and integrity. So these are the reference that I use for my project. So that's all from me. Thank you so much.